I'm Phil Peretz, Media Media Inc., your four-minute mentor. We've been hearing a lot about tariffs this political season, and there seems to be some uncertainty about exactly how this works and who it affects. The short version is that a tariff artificially increases the landed cost of a product, and this is usually passed on to the consumer. Some people look at a tariff as a way of leveling the playing field against those who can outperform domestic manufacturers. It's the consumer who pays the price. Unless the manufacturer wants to lower their profit margins, the consumer will always foot the bill. When you are in business, your goal is to make money. It costs you money to produce whatever you are producing, and your goal is to generate a particular profit margin on those costs. If you aim to make 40% as your return on investment, you will do that whether the item costs you a dollar or a hundred dollars. You will still focus on your desired profit margin as your costs go up. The other thing to understand is that several people mark up whatever is being sold through the value chain. You have the manufacturer, the importer, distributor, and the retailer. Sometimes there are more people involved, all marking up the cost of the original product before it gets to the consumer. The landed cost of an item includes several components. Landed cost means the final cost of a product, including duties or tariffs, charges, insurance, and freight. Some of these charges include customs processing fees, port and harbor fees, storage fees, inspection and environmental or recycling fees, documentation fees, broker fees, and even currency conversion fees. The expressions tariffs and duties are often used interchangeably, but there are slight differences. A duty is a broader term that refers to any tax imposed on goods by a government. While it often refers to taxes on imported or exported goods, it can also apply to other forms of taxation. A tariff is a specific type of duty, usually related to international trade and applied to goods as they are imported or exported. Duty is a more general term that covers various taxes on goods, including tariffs and other forms of taxation. When a product crosses into a country with a tariff in place, customs officials assess the value or amount of the product. The importer, the person or company bringing the product in has to pay the tariff. The government collects this tax. One key thing to understand is that tariffs usually make imported goods more expensive, and that often is the whole point. If foreign products cost more, consumers are more likely to buy from domestic producers, which boosts local industries. However, forcing imported products to be more expensive can also prevent manufacturing companies in the United States from seeking out more competitive methods of manufacturing, which in turn does a considerable disservice to the consumer. Ultimately, the consumer pays the tariff, even though the importer initially pays it to the government. Here's how it works. When an importer brings a product into a country and is charged a tariff, they typically pass that extra cost along the supply chain. This means they raise the product's price for wholesalers, retailers, and consumers. So, while the importer directly pays the tariff to the government, they often make up for that cost by charging more for the product, which results in higher prices for everyday buyers. In this way, the tariff cost gets passed down, and the consumer ultimately bears the financial burden through higher prices at the store. Of course, in some cases, companies may absorb some of the cost if they don't want to raise prices too much, but that's less common over the long term. For example, you have a company that retails shirts, and you have imported $100 worth of shirts. The tariff is $12, customs is $5, and freight is $10. So now your $100 product has a landed cost of $127. Your goal is to make a 40% profit margin. $127 divided by 0.6 is $211.67. This is your selling price where you make 40% profit. If the government raises the tariff to 20%, you will now be at $20. Customs will be $5, freight will be $10, and your landed cost will be $135. You must decide whether to eat the additional expense or pass it on to the consumer. As a business person, you still need that 40% profit margin on your money, so typically it's the consumer that pays, and the selling price of goods goes from $211.67 to $225. So, yes, the majority of the time, this artificial cost inflation directly affects the consumer. This is Phil Parrots, Media Media Inc., your four-minute mentor. Please like this video and follow us. Thank you.